All right, UFC Bantamweight Davy Grant, thank you so much for joining me, man. How's life uh, right now? You're sitting in your gym. Uh, is everything back to up and running? No, 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 unfortunately, no. We're not allowed to open the gyms in England until, well, I'm not even sure. Um, it's, yeah, it's not ideal, but it, it is what it is. I think it's, it's for the safety of everyone. I don't want to bring everyone back to, to catch anything before, before we're allowed. Bit of a shame, but yeah, I'm looking forward to opening the game. What what are the guidelines that they put in for gyms and you know businesses? Because you are a business owner, so it must affect you a lot. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, like uh, obviously when I'm not fighting, this is where I earn all my money in the gym, and it was like it's the exact opposite of social distancing. Do you know what I mean? We try <laughs> to get as close to each other as possible. <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't ideal. I mean. Um, well, luckily enough, I mean, our business won't go under or anything. We've got a bit behind us just in case, you know what I mean? We've got helped out off the government as well. So everything will be back up and running. Hopefully, before long, this will just be a distant memory. What is the training like? It seems like that you are training. You've been training the whole time, right? Because oh, yeah. you have your own gym. And if I was you, I'd yeah. be doing the same thing. Um, so yeah. you haven't missed a beat, probably. No, I mean, to be fair, yeah, that was one of the good things about having my own gym is... Uh, yeah, I was in here every day. Mostly it was me and the wife and the kids training. Do you know what I mean? But we've got, yeah. I've got like a proper conditioning room. We've got all the bags and everything. I was doing online classes. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's, it, it's been locked down. It hasn't been perfect. But when you've got your own gym to go and train, then you can't complain. Exactly. What's the, who are the cast and crew that you're working with right now preparing for this fight coming up? I mean, to be fair, I've got, um, I've got a couple of coaches I work with from South Shields, SVG. So like Alex Enland and, and a couple of the guys over there. And then I've got my own guys as well. My own guys like Kamari and Luke Pembethy who do, do me pads and stuff like that. And, and a few training partners, you know, so everything's been good. Like I say, I mean, it, it's only been a short camp, but I, was, I, I, was, I, I hit the ground running anyway. I did a little bit more weight to get off than usual because uh, obviously just because of the lockdown and just uh, sat eating and stuff, do you know what I mean? But that's flew off us to be fair. I'm like ready to go. Let's, uh, I wanted to go back to uh, the end of last year when you returned after a pretty long layoff and went to Russia yeah. and got a good, good, yeah. good win over uh, Gregory Popov. Uh, you were yeah. the underdog. You're you're going yeah. to Russia. You're coming off two losses. What was the pressure like going into that fight? Did you feel it? Uh, no, honestly, I didn't. Um, I could have done. Do you know what I mean? But pressure's just it's just it's just in your own head, isn't it? There's no point in succumbing to it. You know, like. Uh, and, uh, and and I just love what I do. Do you know what I mean? And it was um, I, I thought it was a great chance to go and fight in Russia, uh, just just for the experience, obviously against a good guy. And no, I mean I, I know that I needed a win. It was uh, it, I, I know how things work. Uh, but you can't let that get hold of you. You know what I mean? You still got to just go try and go in there and put your best performance, no matter what. So so that's what I just try to do. Just try and go in, enjoy it, and and try and try and show the best me possible. I still think I feel like I've got a lot more to give off that fight. But, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I've been a pro for 11 years now and I feel like I'm still learning. I'm still getting better. And that's why, why I'll, I'll keep fighting until I feel like I'm getting worse. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. Well, were you satisfied with the judges? They gave you the split in that fight. It was, uh, were you kind of pissed yeah, off? Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, to be fair, it's my fault for leaving it in the judges' hands. Mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean? I, could, I, 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 I think it, it to be decisive because you don't know what they're looking at. You know what I mean? It's um, I, I didn't. I thought I, I thought I won the, won the rounds clearly. To be fair, do you know what I mean? Uh, and when it said split decision, I thought, oh no. But uh, luckily, I got, I got the nod. It went my way. I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's just that's it, that's just how it goes. It wasn't it wasn't like a domination. Do you know what I mean? I felt like I would come to be, but it wasn't any, a domination. So you can't really grumble. You know, everyone's got their own opinions. It was just it was nice to get the win, though. You bring up a good point, though. You don't know what they're looking at, but yeah. we should know what they're looking at, right? When they're judging a yeah. fight. Ah, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's it. But like a lot of them have got the, you got different views on things, and, yeah. and some of these judges, I don't even know if they're watching the fight. Yeah. You know, I've seen some shocking decisions in my time. I'm not just saying the judges mm. on my fight, mm. but just judges in general. I've seen some mm. fights, and I thought, how on earth is that gone that way? Do you know what I mean? And it's, uh, and like, like Dana says, you just, you just shouldn't leave it in the hands of the judges. So I'm not, I'm not looking to do that this next fight. Well, after that, you know, you were lined up for UFC London, a home game, basically, against uh, Luis Smoka. But that, right. that was actually on UFC Ohio. 
Oh yeah, yeah that's right. The week after London, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, uh, yeah, it was against Louis Smoker. Okay. But, okay, uh, I remember. Yeah, yeah no, UFC no. Columbus. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I got yeah, I got the so events much. mixed up. Uh, yeah, I wish yeah, you probably wish you were fighting in UFC London, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that, you know, that was a game. That was a game. Was yeah, that was like, very that was very uh unusual times. You know what I mean? In that in that month period where everybody's like, are the events gonna happen? Are they not gonna happen? Oh, yeah. What was going through your mind the whole the, those couple of weeks leading up to the event? I mean, to be fair, I wasn't. I, I didn't let it affect me at all. I was just training like normal. And the UFC kept saying, "Look, you're putting on that. You're putting on the, the fights are going happen and the fights are happening." And I was thinking, "Yeah, it'd be all right." And then the last, it was sort of like a couple of days before they've cancelled all our flights. Everything just sort of snowballed, and it was like it was just so rapid the change of the of the world and the, and, the, and the pandemic type thing. Uh, yeah, it, it was strange. It was. Uh, I wouldn't say it was hard to keep training. You know, I was still training like because I thought I definitely thought I was fighting. And then, uh, and then once they cancelled the, they did like the travel ban to America, then it, then it sort of like I realized, look, this isn't, this isn't going to happen. Definitely not for me. It, it was disappointing. It's like, I mean, I'm 35 at the end of this year, so like, uh, I'm getting on a bit. You know what I mean? And I've got, I, I haven't got that many fight camps left in me, little old body. You know what I mean? And I did a full fight camp and I didn't get a fight. It was very frustrating, but. That's how it goes. You know? When did you feel the pandemic getting serious? Did you not feel it at all? Or was it just like, you know, you, you felt like there was like a, one period where like, boom. Oh, man, it's it's getting crazy out here. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was sort of like. When um, when, they, when we went into sort of lockdown in England hmm. uh, and I'd seen what had been happening in Italy. It looked pretty brutal, and I was pretty frightened. I thought, "Oh God, this is a lot worse than what I actually thought." And then I was like, "So, so I was, we were really, really careful, like um, the way, like how much we were going out the house, and I was, I was washing all, I was shopping when we were bringing it back, washing my hands, and everything sort of thing." And and I think like everyone, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than what it was. I think it's uh, it sort of fizzled out a little bit, and it, and it wasn't nowhere near as bad as what people were expecting, which is a bonus. You got a fight lined up now on uh, yeah. Fight Island in Abu Dhabi against yeah. Martin Day. Talk about him and then in the matchup against uh, the Hawaiian. Yeah, I mean, uh, great fight for me. Great fight for me. He's uh, he likes to stand up. He's got some got some good tricky shit, you know. I, I love all that. Um, he's a game guy. Uh, he's like um, he, he's come under fight, and, and that's what I want. That's what I like. You know, this is Fight Island. This is with the first fight on. There's a there's a, it's been built up a lot. This is probably the biggest card that I've been on. I, I mean, probably for him as well. You know, there's three title fights on the card. This is a great chance to go and show what we can do, and I'm very excited for it. Yeah, you are making history because you will be the yeah. first fight on yeah. Fight Island. That's pretty insane yeah. to think. Yeah, it's pretty epic. I mean, I, I mean it's exciting. It's like, mm. this is what we do it for. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's, a, it's a crazy situation. Mm. It's a once-in-a-lifetime and, and it's just a pleasure to be a part of, you know. You, sometimes you've got to count your blessings and, and things like this. They don't come around very often. So I'm just going to fucking get in there, make the biggest performance I can. Um, and, like, you know, I'm going in for the knockout. I always will. I, I, I want a big performance. And, uh, yeah, just enjoy it. So when you look at this fight, do you yeah. see your advantages in the stand-up? Because Martin is a, a, a Taekwondo guy. He's a guy that likes to stand and trade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, um, he, he's got great stand-up, and, and I feel like I have too. And uh, and I, I just think it's a good it's a good matchup. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, I feel like I'm probably bringing a bit more experience than what he is. Um, and yeah, like that's we'll just see how the fight pans out. But it's 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 brilliant. It's this is it should be a good fight. It should be one of the best fights on the card, if you ask me. Is the experience probably the the X factor in this? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, I've I've been on these shows before. I've done the Ultimate Fighter and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, where you are fighting with the no crowds and stuff like that. So I know it's not going to phase me at all. I've done the late night cards. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, yeah, I think it's a big thing. Now the cage, right? There's like been a lot of talk of as of late because the Apex has the small cage and the pay-per-views have the big cage. What do you prefer? Um, um, uh, to be fair, I'm not really bothered. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, like I, I feel like me, me cage craft is uh, and my footwork it just it'll adapt perfectly to whichever I'm in. I don't. That doesn't matter if I'm sparring in a fucking ten foot boxing ring or a thirty foot cage. You know, it's like it's all about how you use it, how you move. 
and just being aware of your surroundings. So not, things like that I don't really let it bother me. There's no factor to it. Tough was seven years ago. You've yep. competed five times since the show with the UFC, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, you've been through some trials and tribulations throughout the years, right, with injuries and, yeah. like, fight cancellations and stuff like that. Um, what is the outlook for you? You're, you're 34 years old. You know, what's the outlook for you? Are you just trying to get as many fights until a certain age, or what is the goal for you moving forward? I mean, ideally, so... Obviously, look. Anyone who's fighting, they want to. Get, they want to be the champion. That's it. That, that that's it. If, if they're not, don't want to be the champion. Then, they're, then they're probably it's probably time to quit. You know what I mean? And like I see, I feel like I'm still getting better. I want to. I feel like I've had. I I know I've had some bad luck, uh, especially due to injuries. And even sometimes, like I, there's a couple like the two fights that I lost. Um, I just I I don't feel like I should, should have lost them. I know I did, and I lost fair and square. I'll never I'll ever want to make excuses or anything like that. But I think just like uh, a few different factors, just to like maybe I made a few mistakes rather than got them took away from me. Uh, and I feel like I could have won those fights. I could have been been making a run to it. And and I know my own potential, and I haven't showed it yet. I don't feel like I've showed it yet in the UFC. So I'm looking, hopefully, get a rack a few wins together, get in the top 15, and then mm. we'll start making a title run. That's that's the plan. Been, and I want to get them in as soon as possible. So like you say, I mean, I'm, I'm 34 now, I'm coming up 35. It's um, but I don't feel it. I don't feel it at all. Mm. Uh, and like once I do start feeling as if I'm getting a bit too old, or, or or I'm slowing down, or I'm not getting better, then maybe it's about time to retire. But at the moment, it's just up, up, up. I feel like I'm really, really. I, I just feel like my career in the UFC is starting. It's crazy. It, it was it was it was such a roller coaster. But um, I mean, at the, at the same time, you've got to take the good points from that and think. Well, look at the experience I've gained, and like, and uh, now I can just need to start making a few momentum and getting there. I, I train a lot smarter now, so I can be a lot healthier for fights and stuff like that. I think it was the I was old school, and we used to just train way too hard yeah. and uh, for fighting, like just hard sessions every day, four times a day, and it was like just breaking our bodies down so now i'm a little bit more relaxed about things and uh yeah still feel like i'm just getting better being the the leader of your gym you allow yourself to uh teach the the younger guys coming up to not to make the mistakes of going too hard right yeah. like the past so they would have definitely, longer careers and, and be less less injury yeah. prone yes definitely and i'm big on that with all my guys mm. do you know what i mean like uh mm. nowhere near as much heavy spine and stuff as what we used to do you know, uh, you, you, and especially with the, obviously the CTE effects and things like that. Now the way that people like, you know, like that's that's got to be the worst thing. I mean, to, uh, is, uh, you, your body can break down off, off training, but I, I still want to be able to like remember my kids' names when I'm a bit older. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. That's the thing you've got to protect. And yeah, yeah, when you've been through it all, it's it, and it's hard to tell these kids. It's hard mm-hmm. to tell them like, look, sometimes more is less. You know, it's it's a lot easier to tell a guy who's lazy to get their ass in the gym. Mm-hmm than to tell someone who wants to train all the time, look, have a session off. Do you know what I mean? It's actually yeah. harder to get those type of guys not to come than it is to get the lazy guys to come. Mm. And, uh, and yeah, but they, they, they all listen well, and um, I try and do things the best I can for them. Going back to what you are saying about your outlook for your future, there's no other better time, I think, than right now to get back-to-back fights in the UFC. Really, they've not yeah. done that for many people, and it seems like right now guys are getting fights like three weeks four weeks after they fight you know what i mean it's like yeah. there's an open slot you ready get in there and, and it could be a perfect opportunity for you man maybe you might even have to just stay on fight oh, island yeah. i don't even know yeah i was thinking that myself <laughs> i was thinking i'll just stay out there stay on weight i'll be like look anything happens i'm ready to go do you know what i mean yeah, and, uh, yeah i've got some time to make up and uh and that's what i'm here for do you know what i mean I, like I, yeah. I, I, I literally i love fighting i love fighting it's, uh, it, it's just been to me brother all my life do you know what I mean and um, yeah the, the more the better I hope we can finish this year off with a couple more couple wins and then start making that run well the, the year starts which is weird to say July 11th UFC 251 Fight Island Abu Dhabi Davey thank you so much for the time enjoy the fight no enjoy your time in Abu Dhabi and uh, be safe excellent thank you very much that's much appreciated cheers